Hi everybody, it's Diego from Codex and welcome to the seventh video of this Arduino course. Today we're going to learn how an RGB LED works, which is an LED with four legs. So if you want to know what they're for, get ready and let's get started. RGB stands for red, green and blue. So let's have a look at this RGB LED. And as you can see, there is a longer leg, which is the cathode. And this is in the second place if you put the RGB LED in this position, which is a position I do recommend, because that way R, G and B are in the right order, okay? So this leg provides with red color, this one is for green and this one is for blue. So combining these three colors, you can get millions of colors but very important these legs have to be connected to a pwm pin which is something we explained in the last lesson where we taught how to make a complex timer for the ones who missed it if an led is connected to a pwm pin we can adjust the brightness of, uh, of the light so now let's see how to make this on tinkercad let's pick the rgb led as you see, there are four legs and the second one is the cathode. So we're going to take this one to the ground pin and the other ones will go to three PWM pins, for example, 9, 10 and 11 via resistor. And now let's make this on the physical board. We are going to need the USB cable, the Arduino board, the breadboard, jumper wires, three 220 ohm resistors, and the RGB LED. As we said, this is the right position. All right, you clearly see the second leg is the longer one. So the other ones are R, G, and B. Red, green, and blue. And the second one, which is the cathode, will go to the ground pin. Now we take the three resistors And now let's connect it and make a simple program to test it. As usual, we're going to use some block 5, which is based on scratch. Let's remove Cody and R, add Arduino. First of all, I'm going to make three variables, one for red, another for green, and another one for blue. And here we're going to switch this readout to a slider. Right click, slider. This way we can choose the value we want from the screen. As PWM values go from 0 to 255, right click, change slider range, and this way we can control it in a better way. So now we're going to work on live mode and we're going to make a simple program that will be this. When green flag clicked, we're going to set PWM9, so this is red color, I'll put as, I go to variable, as red. We will do the same with PWM10 and the same with PWM11. 11. So let's connect it and test it. If I change red value to the maximum, when I press green flag, the LED glows red. If I choose green, the LED glows green. And if I choose blue, the LED glows blue. 
but we can also combine some colors to get others. And we can decrease, for example, this intensity and the color changes. And we can mix these three colors to get millions of colors, as I've said before. The three colors to the maximum should get white. If you want to know the values you need for a specific color, there are plenty of websites which will give you that information. If you just search for RGB code here, for example, in bracket tables, you just need to pick here the color you want. For example, let's say yellow. And as you see, to get this yellow, we need red 255 and green 255. So let's see if it works. Yeah, actually it does. In some cases, the LED might glow in a slightly different way from what you see here. So, well, just need to adjust these values. We're going to design a program where there will be a rainbow on the screen. And as you see, there is a small dot that follows the, the mouse pointer. Whenever we touch one color of the rainbow, the LED glows on that color. First of all, we need to add a rainbow sprite. Let's remove Panda and let's make the rainbow larger. And we need another sprite to follow the, the, the mouse pointer. So add paint. And it has to be a simple dot, no matter what color it is. Let's rename it. So as we said, <coughs> when green flag clicked forever, this is going to go to mouse pointer. All right. And when the mouse pointer, when, well, actually when this dot, when this sprite is touching one of these colors, it has to send a message to broadcast a message that the RGB LED will receive, all right, well, actually, Arduino will receive to turn on the LED in the right color. So forever go to mouse pointer and if touching color and to pick exactly these colors, we click here and we choose this tool. All right, so this way we have the exact red color and if touching red color, we broadcast one message and this message is going to be red. Now in Arduino, when I receive red, we're going to set PWM9, which is red color, as 225 and the others as 0. 10 and 11, 0 and 0. It is interesting to create a program when space key pressed, set everything as 0 and we turn it off. So let's try. This is the most pointer. If touching this color, it sends a message. As you see, it is blinking. And the reason is because, well, one reason is because my laptop is not powerful enough to be recording the screen at the same time it's working on live mode with Arduino. But one solution could be waiting here 
for one second. So it is not going to constantly be broadcasting messages. Okay. Let's try the program again. And if I touch it, the LED turns red. So I'm going to make the same with the other colors and let's see if it works at the end. So now the program is finished. Arduino board receives the seven colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And the dot broadcasts the seven colors. So now it's time to test it. The, the purple dot is following the mouse pointer. When I touch red, it turns red when I touch orange. It turns orange. Well, it's not exactly orange. We could adjust it a little bit. Touching this, it turns yellow, green, blue. It is blue. Probably throughout the camera, you can't see the the actual color of the of the LED, but it is light blue. Indigo and Violet And that's all for today guys. Hope you learned how an RGB LED works and you had fun and see you next time Bye bye